TikTok, like YouTube, has become quite infested with flat earthers, conspiracy theorists, and you name it. And today, we'll be taking a look at the biggest of them. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Heinrich, the real nuclear physicist. Today, we'll be delving into TikTok's biggest flat earther, and he goes by the name Caleb F.E. And what is it that he's claiming today? Well, it's that wind doesn't make sense on a spherical Earth. The Earth isn't spinning at a thousand miles per hour at the equator or anywhere else, and I think I have evidence today to prove it to you. <laughs> You're right, Caleb. Isn't spinning at a thousand miles per hour? It's more accurate to say it's rotating at 15 degrees per hour. But I'm guessing you, like all flurves, use this big number because they seem scary. This photo in and of itself is some pretty awesome proof. I've explained this before, but for all the people that didn't see that video, because I'm so shadow banned. Ooh, shadow banned. Because if somebody was truly trying to stop you from saying all this stuff you are saying, it wouldn't be a lot easier to just make you disappear without a trace. No, they'd rather shadow ban you so that only 10 people see your videos. That doesn't make sense. Again, nobody's out there trying to get you. Um, if you go from the west coast to the east coast, flying with the spin of the earth supposedly, because the earth is supposedly spinning a thousand miles per hour eastward, the flight should be longer, right? Caleb, earth rotation has nothing to do with the duration of flights. In fact, if a plane takes off from the earth, it still has that momentum of the rotation imparted to it. Your points are not valid. And it seems like you and all flurves seem to lack the basic understanding of mechanics and physics. Going with the spin of the earth, and then vice versa. If you're going east to west, you're going against the spin of the earth, against it, it should be shorter. <laughs> the time, only 40 minutes. That you just said that if the earth is a sphere, a flight from New York to Los Angeles should be longer than a flight from Los Angeles to New York. And then you show that it is. You just debunked yourself, Caleb. Only 40 minutes is still a time difference. And the fact that planes use a model called FEM, flat earth model, should tell you that the earth might be flat and stationary. Actually, the onboard navigation system of planes are created to work on the real Earth. And by real, I mean spherical. Anything I can find with regards to this FEM you mentioning is finite elements method or finite element analysis. And that is a method used to test the strengths of components on the plane. Nothing to do with flat Earth model. You really are grasping at straws. And if you want more proof that we are stationary and the atmosphere, ether, medium, whatever is encompassing us is the only thing that's moving. You just have to look at how wind works. So, warm air rises and it cools. So it creates movement. So that's basically how wind works. As a very basic explanation, yes, that's how wind works. But if you go into meteorology, it gets a bit more complex than that. Me, I'm not a meteorologist. I'm not able to explain the complex mechanics and systems that are working to form wind. But it is due to the motion of the atmosphere relative to the Earth as it's rotating. Again, the molecules from the heat of the sun rises the pressure of the air and then they equalize and move around switch around that creates wind essentially so you'd have to agree that the molecules of the air rising equalizing moving the wind creating the wind is part of the atmosphere right um yes the molecules of the air is part of the atmosphere that's that's what the atmosphere is what are you going to do with this though and one of the first questions i asked when i first found flat earth is the Earth is spinning a thousand miles per hour eastward. Why don't we spin under the clouds? 
You've got to be kidding me. Are you serious, Caleb? Yes, the Earth is rotating. And why aren't we rotating away from the clouds as they are above us? Well, three reasons. Gravity, conservation of momentum, and atmospheric drag. And the heliosexuals fired back with that the gravity of the Earth is holding all of the atmosphere and the clouds and all of the molecules in the atmosphere, clouds, medium, ether, whatever you want to call it, with the perfect spin of the Earth. Gravity's pulling it perfectly with it, so you got to realize it. Yes, gravity keeps the atmosphere stuck to the Earth, but gravity alone isn't the reason why the atmosphere rotates along with the Earth. Like I said, atmospheric drag and conservation of momentum also play a role. I really want to drive this one home. I think if you're going to drive anywhere, it should be to a psychiatric hospital. Because you, sir, are as mad as they come. You even got that crazy conspiracy look in your eyes. The Earth is supposedly holding all of this atmosphere, this air, perfectly. While at the same time, satellites can geocentrically, geostationarily, and polarily orbit, supposedly. And the gravity supposedly doesn't keep pulling it in. It just leaves it out there. It doesn't pull it any closer to the Satellites orbit the Earth because of gravity. If there was no gravity pulling them towards the Earth, the centripetal force would cause them to fly off into space. Uh, we're not talking about that, though. We can't talk about it, though. It's, it's not a secret. In fact, you can research it. There's a whole field of study dedicated to it. What I'm trying to get at here is that if the Earth's gravitational pull is holding all of the atmosphere, all of the molecules, everything in all of these these layers of the atmosphere, what happened to these molecules? But why aren't these molecules being held with the thousand mile per hour spin of the Earth? I can't deal with your childish reasonings anymore. It's like saying the air in the plane shouldn't move along with the plane as it's flying forward. And at the same time, the air vent above your seat can't blow air onto your face. You already know what I think. The Earth's flat and the atmosphere is moving, not us. With that said, I am done with Caleb for today. Huge thank you to each and every one of you who watched today. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe button and remember to press that bell so that you get notification every time that I post a video. Before we finish off, I have my channel memberships available. Please go and have a look. And if you'd like to contribute to this channel and don't want to subscribe to a membership, there's also a PayPal link down in the description. I'm Heinrich, the real nuclear physicist, and I'll see you next time.